Today, I have the opportunity to sit down with Dr. Ahmed Abdelmoidi, who is our Division Director for Neurology and also Vice President for Clinical Access here at Children's Mercy. Dr. Abdelmoidi, thank you so much for joining in today. You know, we're certainly here to talk about the incredible um, rankings that we achieved in our U.S. News and World Report rankings and certainly in neurology. We're so proud of, the, of that accomplishment. We're thankful for, for the Division of Neurology and Neurosurgery as well. But we also know it's a team effort, and you would be the first to say that. So why don't we jump right in and let's talk about, you know, what kind of accomplishments you're proud of that have been achieved in the Division of Neurology and our related programs that have helped us to achieve these rankings. Yeah, Paul, you're, you're spot on. It absolutely is a team approach, and it's something that we're very much proud of being very much patient-centered and uh, keeping our eyes on our vision, uh, creating a world of well-being for all children. So it takes a village, it really does, between four neurosurgeons, our 20 plus neurologists, therapists, nurses, um, administrators, it, it's the whole thing. It's not something that can happen in vacuum. One of the other things that we're very proud of and I'm particularly proud of is our um, level four epilepsy center. We're not just among the top tier of epilepsy centers, we're really leading the way. We're one of only a handful of epilepsy centers for adult and pediatrics that we're able to do over 20 epilepsy surgeries in a calendar year. And that's a huge number and it takes a lot of resources and a lot of dedication. It's not only neurology, it's not only neurosurgery, it's the whole system that really is after providing nothing but the best and top care for children. That's fantastic. And you know, we always talk about how these designations, these accreditations, uh, these achievements are critically important, but they're most important because they give us a sense of the progress that we're making in advancing care for kids and support of families. What characterizes the team that you work with and you lead? Talk about it. Really the passion of being patient-centered, uh, something that we all have at heart and we agree on, and it's not um, anything artificial. It's something that's driven by that desire to present nothing but the best of the best for our children and family. We really are trying to create that and lead the way um, in the therapies and the treatment of epilepsy. Many stories come to mind and many, many, um, patients and children's names and faces come to mind as a, um, a, the true accomplishment of all of that. One of the stories that come to mind is a, a nine-year-old girl who, um, beautiful as can be, had, unfortunately, all of a sudden, pretty bad epilepsy, um, upwards of 50 seizures in a, in a day. Wow. And you can only imagine how that might affect her academic performance, her ability to play sports, uh, but also her family, what it means for their social life, for their work for their um, ability, just their, their well-being and their ability to, to take care of her other siblings. She came to us with 50 plus seaters a day on three seater medications. And um, as the team got together, and again, when I say the team, it's like over 30 people from different disciplines and different uh, specialties. She underwent a successful epilepsy surgery, and that was followed by a neuromodulation device. And she came down from 50 seaters a day to zero seaters wow. a day off of all seizure medications, back in normal education, and back to sports. So every time I think of that and similar stories, I get goosebumps, like I'm sure you do and others will, because that's really the, the, the fruit of all what we do, is um, putting the team together, trying to get to those results that, that really are the prize for, for our team and is why we wake up in the morning. Those stories are so powerful, Dr. Abdelmoidi. In fact, as, as you know, we start off virtually every meeting with a connection to purpose where we have the opportunity to tell these types of stories, read a grateful letter from a parent, or in some cases, even a child. And it really just serves to connect all of our 8,500 employees. What are some of the challenges that you have faced within neurology and neurosciences, and how are we addressing those challenges? As our reputation continues to get better, we continue to have more children, more families seeking our, um, our expertise. And we want to make sure that we serve each and every child um, that seeks our, um, our uh, help. We've tried to be innovative about it. Uh, with telemedicine and telehealth uh, expansion, we've been able to expand our um, outreach. And this is within the Kansas City area, but also leaning on research. Uh, we, we were fortunate enough to receive a $1.7 million grant to expand our telemedicine reach all the way to rural Kansas, to pretty much the border of Colorado. And that allows us to see children, but also not necessarily put the burden on them having to drive six hours to come to us. We're able to come to them. We're able to be literally in the living room uh, through the technology to be able to partner with their local pediatrician and their local physicians and providers to be able to, to provide that care. Last but not least, the training programs that we have between fellowships, residency, 
that will help provide the next generation of providers, um, as well as our APRN programs that, and our APP programs, our advanced practice uh, uh, programs that we have that really take this um, access and really help close and narrow and hopefully completely mitigate all the gap in access here. So, you know, that spawns the next question, I think, which is, as, as you know, Dr. Abdelmoidi, the importance of our diversity, equity, and inclusion journey is an everyday occurrence here that we talk about. How are we incorporating our DE&I journey into the advancement of neurology care and neurosciences here at Children's Mercy? DE&I is a very important, it's actually front and center in all the work that we're doing. We want to make sure that we understand our children and family. Uh, we want to make sure that we're able to communicate at the best possible level with them. And um, it's very important to have on the team, um, team members that are from those communities who look the same, who understand the background, understand the adversities of uh, the children and the families that we take care of. So having that uh, DE&I uh, embedded in every work that we do, it's not something that happens by certain deputy, it's something that's thought of, it's actually in the planning of every initiative, every clinic, of um, every recruitment, something that we take very uh, seriously. Because again, it boils back down to our vision. This is part of, of what we can do to create a world of well-being for all children. Let's shift gears a little bit to advancements in neurology care. As you look ahead over the next several years, the next five to 10 years, what are you seeing in terms of advancements in the field of neurology? And how are we adapting, adopting, and, and really leading some of those innovations and developments? That's a really great question. And um, we position ourselves as um, not just being among the top, but we really want to be the leaders to a lot of that. And that's where uh, leveraging and partnering with a lot of the great work that's happening at Children's Mercy between the genomics uh, that we have uh, with the genomic answer for kids. This, is, this really will be the future for not just epilepsy and not just neurology, but for medicine in general. This is something that we are um, trying to be ahead of the game uh, or ahead of uh, many other um, hospitals and healthcare systems uh, to try to leverage that. Being able to connect the triad of clinical research and education. And um, I feel that we have all three um, parts of it here at Mercy that we're making sure that our clinics are very diagnosis and personalized patient centered um, rather than having a an overall big umbrella, we have our specialized clinics for Dravet syndrome, mitochondrial disorders, uh, for Angelman syndrome, things that would allow that next level of expertise, would allow the um, not just the day-to-day -day management, but what the future might hold, bringing the research part of it, as well as the education, creating the fellowship programs that we, we currently have, and, um, and expanding beyond that with innovation. You actually answered another question, which is how we're leveraging our investment in research here at Children's Mercy. and. Uh... I'm so grateful for the way that um, we have in the past and we continue moving into the future, leverage the opportunity to um, identify new discoveries that can be translated quickly to the bedside in the clinic. You know, we had one of the first pediatric genomics programs in the country, but now through genomic answers for kids and the incredible genomic sequencing technology that we have here, we are able to leverage the understanding of the genome in ways that many other, if not most other, um, pediatric institutions cannot at this point. And we appreciate um, neurology being at the forefront of that. It not just only allows us to provide the best care for children, but it allows us to recruit the best elements and the best uh, people in the field to come to such an, a, a great institute and such a great resources to expand and take it to the next step. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Abdelmoidi, thank you so much, first of all, for your leadership. And I'm so grateful for the work that you and your teams have done um, that have enabled us to achieve the rankings that we're talking about with US News and World Report, but most importantly, the impact that we've had on kids and families literally across the country and beyond. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, I appreciate it so much. Absolutely, thank and thank you all for joining in today as well. Have a great day. Thank you.